Alright guys, so I want to talk about how I managed to get um, Champions of Norath 2 up and running um, to a point that I could actually play it and not hate my life. Um, originally, I was having issues initially, you know, when you open it up, for those who aren't aware, you'd open it up and you get uh, dual screen issues. And then if you press F9, that solves the dual screen, but it causes a whole new level of issues which are really slow frames per second. So first off, my emulation settings, I have it on the safest, I don't know. I'm sure you can play around with this, find what works for you. I just have it on the safest because that sounds safe. I don't know enough about this, so obviously I don't know a lot of things. Um, but I'm hoping this helps you because it definitely helped me. So if we pull up a game really quick. turn down some sound effects and stuff so that we don't have to hear that crap over my voice but um, if we start a new game okay so essentially um, if you look in the top screen here GS now, when the GS is really high, then you're going to start seeing some chugging um, because your computer is just kind of overwhelmed. Now, if you see this, I get slowdowns here. And I really don't know why I get slowdowns here. Um, and we can try pressing F9. And F9, GS is quite a bit lower. Um, if you look at my frames, though, it tends to run just a little bit slower, maybe a little bit. But we'll see. Anyway, so I always have this like kind of chug right there at the start, but well, once battle. I, will you? Once I get going, um, it it doesn't seem to be any issues as far as I I haven't seen any, but I haven't obviously I haven't been the game yet on this, um, but I've spent a little bit of time and it seems to be working fine. So we'll see. All right, so my frame speed was fine. My GS is fine. Um, and all I did was push F9. And again, um, normally when you did that, it would just chug like freaking crazy. Okay, so let's walk through how we do that. So first off, you actually do not need the emulator installed yet because this is going to solve it, uh, install it yourself. So first off, if we go to this website, which I'll link at the bottom if you need it, um, and we go and search for this file. Um, I don't know if other ones do it, but this is the file that I did and it works. So cool. Um, and I'll link this as well at the bottom. So if we download it, okay. And if we go to my downloads, let me just make sure that I, okay, good. Um, so I have seven zip installed. Um, it extracts files. Uh, install it if you don't have it it works pretty well if you have another one you prefer for your 7z files then use that instead whatever um, I'm gonna extract it here and obviously the file is older uh, than anything else that I have in my downloads right now so it's at the bottom for me okay so now it brings up PCSX2 and like I said we don't need it installed it, this is how we do it um, and we have to go through the setup I just use default settings I didn't have to change anything. You need a BIOS, obviously. So my BIOS is in my downloads currently. So let me pull that up. All right. So there we go. Um, now, if we change my emulation settings really quick, I'm going to set it to safest because I don't know, it worked. Okay, um, now I'm gonna boot the CD and then if we go to your ROM, this is where you choose your ROM. My ROM was under my desktop so I could find it. And we run it. And for those 
um, familiar with this, this is right away where you'd be having issues. You'd see a dual screen otherwise, and obviously we're not having that. So that's cool. First off, I'm going to change the options so we don't have to hear the music or sound effects over me talking. Um, we just have to reformat my memory card then. Okay. So if I go to start game now. Really strong lizard. Okay, so notice again, every time I load in, my GS here is quite high. It, I mean, it chugs here, and I don't know why that is. Hit F9, drops it down, it's still quite high. I'm still, I'm in the 50 range though for my frames per second, so that's awesome. Um, anyway, talk to Welcome, you. Welcome, Battle tr will you? Okay, and we go and load in somewhere so we're not in that starting area that I seem to have the most issues with. Skip that. Okay. There we go. Runs fine. Frames per second is fine. And um, I don't know whatever these things are. These lizard things kill my brethren. It doesn't cause any issues. So there we go. Um, all I had to do is once I got through that, it just hit F9, solved my issue. And didn't cause any new issues, which is awesome, because before if I'd hit F9, it would solve one issue and cause new issues. So um, anyway, hopefully that helped you. Um, I'm really hoping this helps you get this game running and Champions Norath 1 running and Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 running, because let's face it, those games are great hack and slashes from a time when, I mean, hack and slash was king for these games. I mean, these were the best. So, um, you know, this means that I don't have to worry about hooking up my PS2 again to play this again. Um, I was really worried I was going to have to do that because I've been in the mood to play it and this works, thank goodness. So, um, you know, if this works for you, awesome. I'm, I'm really glad. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. That sucks. Um, I don't know what to tell you, but this worked for me. Um, I don't know enough about emulation in general as far as how the scripts and everything like that work um, to really troubleshoot anything, to be honest. I solved it um, thanks to other stuff online, obviously. Other people doing better stuff than I could. Um, so... You know, let us down, know in the comments if you'd like, like if this worked for you on fixing the other Snowblind games, so not Champions of Norath 2, Champions of Norath 1, for example, or, you know, um, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, I've heard have the same issue. So um, if it worked for you, uh, let me know. That's awesome. Um, so hopefully it did. But anyway, have a good one.